bitches. Nah, we need every cuss word within the first 30 seconds to be bleaked out. Yeah, I'm ready. Ready when you are, daddy. Oh my god. Oh god, that actually hurt. Yep, that hurt. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. Yeah, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of building a career with my own name. I was kind of thinking I'd just stick with that. So, which one is, uh... You know, where the magic happens. Conrad's interested because he's one hell of a magician. Oh, yeah? Can you make yourself disappear? You get them beers? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. I don't know, I just said something sarcastic. <laughs> ah. If that was weird. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? Relieving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dive? I wanted it to be memorable. Just not that memorable. <laughs> I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Hmm. Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Bradder for Brayson Lee. You got a girlfriend? Uh, not my strong suit. Hey, nothing to be ashamed of. We all hit our stride eventually. Me, I popped out full sprint, dragged my mom right off the table. Ew. Dudes make too big a deal out of getting girls. Yeah. What's the big deal about... Right here. What the fuck? My game. Why is my game skipping cutscenes? Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful, 
if you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? Well, from the outside, this thing was a bomber, but on the inside, it was filled with life rafts. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, after the war, they refitted a lot of the long-range bombers to be rescue planes. What was it doing at the bottom of the ocean? Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. <laughs> I, I, I'm just... No, hey. They were respectful. You shouldn't have taken anything from the wreck. <laughs> You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Why Maybe. did she snap all of a sudden? I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Oof. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Okay, here we go. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> he of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twists. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then, it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it?
The woman says, it was my brother. And she turns to the closet and says, he's hiding in there. Ah, oh, great. Blame the brother. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, that low key Super scared twice. me. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and for good, buddy. <laughs> Me too. So was he lying or was he telling the truth? I was hoping that's what you would do. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> 
So, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. <sighs> Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Cow, right in the kitchen. What do you fuckers want? Oh no, I might have just got us killed. Slow down. Easy. Jesus, Conrad. Why didn't you tell me? Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Are you being polite to our unexpected guests? Oh, yeah. We had biscuits and tea. All right. Surprise. Okay, they're coming. Oh. Fuck, motherfuckers. Julia, tell me what happened. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Just have to. 
to wait and see what they want to do with us. Distract him. I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Bed up. You're pretty stupid. Olson, come here. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian go? Best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. Hey, come on. We're just 
pass in time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Now. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. How did she get pants on so fast? You motherfuckers won't get away with this. The police is gonna hunt you down. Dream on. Ocean's a big place. Easy to get lost. No! Ah, shit. No. Press the wrong button. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? Well, I was supposed to press. I was supposed to press dark when I press square. <laughs> After number one, real smooth, great leadership, Fliss. What happened? Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> I just want to say that... Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Okay, you're in agreement. Clue yeah. is the Merchant of Venice, Act Two, Scene Seven. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, "All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told." Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress. 
I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Denied, 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 denied. But it's serious. Denied. Yeah, I'll see y'all next time. If you liked, press the like button. And comment what you think about it. Bye.